And U.S. doctors have pioneered a non-invasive and painless way to kill breast cancer cells. Using magnetic fields along with chemotherapy, it reduces side effects and improves treatment outcomes. Let's talk now to Associate Professor Alfredo Franco Obregón, who led the research. He is from the NUS Institute of Health Innovation and Technology. Good evening, Professor. Let's talk about the fact that breast cancer patients who undergo chemotherapy, they typically do suffer from side effects, and very often uh, so much so that they can't continue with treatment. How does this magnetic therapy reduce these side effects? Okay, you're absolutely right. Um, chemotherapy is the first line of defense against uh, breast cancer. The problem is that it's actually very aggressive, and um, in doing so, it also harms healthy tissues. So the challenge that an oncologist faces is actually to give enough therapeutic drug to control the cancer, but not to actually implicate healthy tissues. So what we plan on doing is with our magnetic field therapy is to help chemotherapy slow cancer growth without implicating healthy tissues. And that's basically the, the magnetic paradigm that we actually are offering. And we're doing the stage one clinical trials on that um, at the NUS. So with these stage one clinical trials, Professor, how long can a patient be exposed to this magnetic therapy? And is there a specific strength that they can be exposed to for a certain length of time? Yeah, so we are starting off, uh, we're going to scale up. We're going to first give them one half hour treatment uh, to see how that goes. Uh, these are in individuals that are not receiving chemotherapy and they are actually scheduled for surgery. Uh, we want to see how these fields actually influence later stages of wound healing in the, in the patient. Now, this first trial is specifically designed to check for safety. Um, it's not looking for efficacy yet. That's a later stage of, of, uh, of clinical trial testing. We're also going to do it, uh, if this goes successfully, then we're going to extend that time for one hour um, and see if there are no counterindications. The fields themselves are about three millitesla, and to give to translate that into terms that you and I can identify with, um, it's about the field that is generated from a hard disk in operation. Um, the diff so if you, have, if you have a computer in front of you, it's the field that actually comes off your laptop. The difference is, is how it's delivered. That's the technology behind this, uh, this platform. Uh, it's the way it's delivered to the cancer is very effective at slowing and actually forestalling its growth without any implications onto healthy tissues, so the healthy tissues survive fine. It's the cancer that basically um, succumbs to the treatment. Right. So ultimately what we want to do is see that if, if we can actually in, assist chemo in actually slowing cancer growth so that when it is removed, we're more effective at doing so. Right, so at this stage, it's safety that you're focusing on, not so much efficacy. But why is this therapy currently only uh, for breast cancer patients? It's actually, it, it could be used in other cancers, but breast cancer is amenable to the technology. Uh, the cancer itself lies outside the body. Um, a person, a, a patient could lie on her stomach within the coral system, and it's basically isolated within the coil structure we created. So it's engineeringly, it actually it works out very nicely. Um, it can be later elaborated to other cancers, but the coil design will have to be basically modified a little bit. Uh, also, if a person is lying on their stomach in on the coil, uh, which is embedded into the bed, um, it's more comfortable. Other systems may actually take a little bit more um, ergonomic considerations. Mm. Professor, thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, your thoughts with us on this uh, therapy this evening, and we do wish you the best with your trials. That was Associate Professor Alfredo Franco Obregón from the NUS Institute for Health, Innovation and Technology.